specifically. I can actually just put it in my vacuum chamber with regular water and it should boil that water inside and get it to turn without any input of heat from a flame. Almost 2,000 years before the start of the Industrial Revolution, a Greek mathematician and engineer named Hero of Alexandria created a device demonstrating the effectiveness of steam. This invention was called the Aeolophile, or Hero's engine. It was a very basic steam-powered device, a type of steam machine that was the first to create rotary motion. While it didn't lead to practical applications in its time, Hero's Aeolophile is often regarded as the world's first recorded steam engine. In this video, we'll explore the importance of this early invention, how it worked, and why it didn't transform ancient society like later steam engines did. The Aeolophile was the invention of Hero and was found in his book Pneumatica, containing about 80 mechanical devices. The Aeolophile stands out from the other inventions in his collection as it was the earliest known steam-using device, and it showed how mechanical motion could be created with steam power. It consisted of a hollow metal sphere mounted on a pair of hollow tubes. The tubes connected the sphere with a water-filled cauldron. When the cauldron was heated, steam emitted from the boiled water entered through the tubes and entered the sphere. Then, steam escaped on each side of the sphere through small bent nozzles, causing a reaction force that made the sphere spin. Here's where Hero's invention becomes more interesting. The aeolophile was based on basic principles in physics, specifically Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When steam shot out of the nozzles, it created thrust, which made the sphere spin. This directly applied steam power for rotary motion, a key principle for all later steam engines. Although the Aeolophile was a workable invention, it never developed during antiquity. Hero's invention, though mechanically impressive, appears to have been regarded as more of a wonder than a practical device. It was likely shown in temples to amaze and entertain visitors, and it was probably part of a whole category of Hero's mechanical devices designed to create astonishing effects like swinging temple doors or holy water dispensers. It was a novelty, not a machine that could perform useful work. One reason could be the social and economic structure of the Roman Empire. Labour was cheap and plentiful, slaves were common in Hero's time, and they supplied the workforce. There was little incentive to invent labour-saving devices, since the economy didn't need them. Therefore, Hero's steam engine was never considered useful for powering machinery or transportation. If the economy had been different, Hero's device might have inspired further innovations, much like what happened almost 1,700 years later with the development of steam power during the Industrial Revolution. In more detail, Hero's Aeolophile showed how steam power worked. Still, it didn't include important parts needed to do actual work. It didn't have pistons, cylinders, or valves, the components developed in the 18th century to create steam engines that could convert steam energy into mechanical work to power machines, trains, and factories. Hero's Aeolophile, by comparison, was mostly a prototype device, showing the basic idea of steam propulsion, but offering little in terms of useful applications. However, Hero's device remains an important historical artifact. It showed that while the ancient Greeks didn't fully use steam power, they understood how it worked. Indeed, the Aeolophile's apparent simplicity helped explain how steam could create rotary motion, which laid the groundwork for much more complex steam engines that would power the Industrial Revolution. The principles demonstrated by Hero's engine were rediscovered centuries later by inventors such as Thomas Newcomen and James Watt who used these ideas to develop machines that harness steam power for industrial purposes. Interestingly, Hero's works on steam power were not completely lost to history. Byzantine, Arab, and later European scholars copied manuscripts of his works, including descriptions of the Aeolophile. His inventions sparked the imagination of thinkers like Leonardo da Vinci during the Renaissance when they rediscovered his work. Of course, 
It didn't change the course of history during Hero's time, but this prototype did influence later generations of inventors and engineers who were trying to understand steam power. Why wasn't Hero's steam engine a significant technological breakthrough in the ancient world? Besides economic factors, ancient technology also had its limits. The materials and techniques of the 1st century CE weren't advanced enough for large steam machines. For example, Hero's aeolophile couldn't use materials like cast iron or coal, which would later be essential for powering steam engines. In addition, the device only produced rotational motion, and without parts like pistons, it couldn't generate enough power to run larger machines. While Hero's steam engine didn't change ancient society, it did show the potential of steam power. The idea of using steam to create rotary motion laid the foundation for future developments. This very concept led to the creation of much more advanced steam engines during the 17th and 18th centuries, which powered factories, ships and trains, and fueled the Industrial Revolution, shaping the modern world. Scholars rediscovered Hero's work in the Renaissance, which played an important role in later technological developments. While studying ancient texts, scholars found that many of the principles and inventions described by Hero could be applied to new technologies. That renewed interest in ancient technology paved the way for future innovations. Hero's aeolophile was no longer just a curiosity, but part of a bigger historical narrative of technological progress and the quest for mechanical power. Of course, it's interesting to imagine what could have happened if Hero's steam engine had been further developed during his lifetime. If ancient engineers had improved the aeolophile and made it more practical, who knows? Maybe the ancient world could have had an earlier version of the Industrial Revolution. However, this is just a theory and shows how important the context of technological development can be. The knowledge and skills were there, but the social, economic, and technological circumstances weren't right. Even though Hero's steam engine didn't change the world in his time, it's an important landmark in the history of engineering. It reminds us that the roots of modern technology were established long before the Industrial Revolution, and Hero's work shows just how much ancient engineers were capable of. The aeolophile serves as a symbol of both the potential and limits of ancient technology, showing us how far we've come and how much was already understood in the distant past. Although this ancient invention wasn't fully realised, it did play a role in the history of steam power. It shows the continuity of technological progress, where ideas from the past are rediscovered and improved over many centuries. Today, we can appreciate Hero's contribution to early steam mechanics and how it helped shape the path toward the steam engines that powered the modern world. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about Hero of Alexandria's aeolophile, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting information on ancient inventions and their influence on history. Feel free to propose which historical discovery we should discuss next in the comments below.